it is the third day of fashion week and we have a full schedule ahead it's friday but i keep saying i have no idea what day of the week it is because we're going to be working for a month straight so that's true doesn't matter if it's saturday or tuesday at least so, the temperature has dropped yes it is not as hot as it was yesterday yeah. because that was really terrifying uh -oh. <laughs> so we are leaving. We just went to the Amir Tagi presentation. I met him last year in October at the Vogue Forces of Fashion conference and he is such a delight. We have kept in touch ever since and it started with sketches and we had a meeting and I got to kind of see his thoughts and what he was putting on paper and then now to see it come to fruition is really special and so much has changed of course but the idea and the concept was still the same so he interned he's from Texas he interned at Oscar de la Renta he went to Parsons for school and then he's also been working at Monse helping them on the design team and now it is time to launch his first collection and we're just leaving the presentation so Bibi what did you think about it <laughs> First of all, there's St. Bart's. That was your grand, your great grandparents' <coughs> church. It's so beautiful. Um, I was blown away. I was blown away by him. He is such a delight, such so calm in the midst of all of this, and his pieces are just unbelievable. I really did have chills, and the setting of the Baccarat Hotel was a perfect backdrop. Wow. We are so excited because we are on the way to the Chloe Goslin shoe presentation. It's always interesting with brands that aren't ready to wear because then shoes and jewelry and handbags, how do you how are you involved with Fashion Week? And one way to do that is with a presentation and then they'll partner with a ready to wear or a jewelry brand, etc. if they don't have those categories. So that's one thing that y'all might not have thought about. But so do you know anything about Chloe Goslin? Well, I know she was a model. I know she is married to the super famous magician, David Copperfield. And um, I think it was after she was married and had her child that she decided that she wanted to become a shoe designer. Yeah, she grew up sketching shoes, so she was always intrigued. And then she went to FIT, and after having the baby, it was solidified that she had to start her shoe brand. That's so cool. The shoes are made in Italy. We're going to go to Italy in yeah. two weeks yes, or we however are. long. So we're going to Milano for the first time. And we can't wait to see what she has in store for us and also to show you what she has designed. We are all about brand discovery. So and, come, and what's coming next. Exactly. So you, if you may not have heard of Chloe Goslin, now you know a little bit background with her and then you'll get to see her new collection. Okay. Cut that part too. 
Um, let's go find a new brand for our peeps.